it, you don't have to do anything leaving your house it starts in the kitchen okay. to take that step right. and I think as far as exercising exercise and, and again bring it back because that's a big part of what we want to promote too is you know the family seem to have lost their structure but there's no better way to reinforce it than family involvement mm -hmm. so whether it's you know being active taking a walk uh, taking a hike you know it doesn't have to be the gym right but I think really they have to take that first step and, and almost if you have to make the appointment like write it down pen it in you know this is this is our time we're going to either do this as a family and if you can't do it as a family you know you're going to do it on your own because uh, we all know here how fitness impacts your life Absolutely. in such a positive positive way it makes you feel different you look different you have more energy uh, and everything changes you know you deal with situations differently you reduce your stress so we all know this but the bottom line is to the question well, the first step is you know whether it's an in, uh, a consultation at your local gym or fitness center mm -hmm. speaking to somebody well, what do you do um, but taking steps you know it's like anything else small small goals if you're not doing anything if you're just sitting down on the couch and it's just like day to day I think you just got to take that step and uh, make a small goal absolutely you know what um, one of the advice that I give a lot of people young and old is when you're watching your favorite TV shows or you're watching a movie whatever have you during the commercial breaks get up do some push-ups do some sit-ups I don't care if you run the stairs if you just walk around get moving start to burn off a little bit of those calories you know like you said get up and now wake up wake up what you've been doing does not work for you right okay um, the whole okay I'm putting ketchup on this and I think I'm eating clean because I don't have a burger but yet I have you know the meatloaf with the gravy and I have uh, extra cheese on on this and so on and so that doesn't work and just think of all that stuff you're taking in and there's no it's just and, and if you're not leaving an active lifestyle absolutely it's just unbelievable what it's doing to you not just uh, physically but mm -hmm. internally it's just destroying you but yeah I, I agree with you 100% because if you take that small step like even with myself I'm sure we all as much as we're uh, you know fitness oriented or health all the time we get sidetracked so right. we get off our course a little bit mm -hmm. now when I do that uh, you know it's usually not too long but I just say to myself you know what I want a few days and I already feel a difference right if I'm just going in for 20 minutes I don't put the pressure on myself where I gotta stay there for a typical insane workout or torture myself mm -hmm. I just go in for 20 minutes and most of the times it's not 20 minutes it's gonna be an hour <laughs> just, get, just get it done uh, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let me direct my next question to the Dominican beauty that you have yeah. <laughs> in the studio right there with you. And Judy, for the single parents, whether they're female or male, really doesn't matter. But for the single parents, what advice would you give to them, being that you've been through, mm -hmm. you know, Rob's program and, and, and it's helped you and this is something that you just don't preach, but you actively live. Mm -hmm. What advice do you give to someone who says, you know, I, I, I listen, I, I can't do it. I don't believe and I can't do it. If you say you no can't doubt. do it, you won't be able to do it. Right. When you say you can, you will. Mm -hmm. And that's what I find. That's what I live by every day. I get home and I'm tired. And right. No matter what, you know, sometimes I have to take the kids with me to the gym or you know what? I'll do something with them. Take the bikes. Go out for a bike ride. <laughs> right. You got a dog. I got a dog. I don't know how to. I got a dog and that was it. That was, you know, let's go wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. They actually have for, for even for children, they have what's called... I think they're called like chunky monkeys, chunky and it's monkeys. like yeah, but this, yeah, but this is no, but this, this is the cool concept of it, and it was on Parents Magazine, uh -huh. and I got it for my son. It's a pedometer, and okay. the kids log it in, right, and they get prizes. Wow. Yeah, it's really? just like make it fun for them. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be a chore yeah. or right. pay them a dollar. I don't know, but <laughs> you have to be creative with kids. Kids get bored very fast. Right. You know, right. you can't just stick them on the treadmill. And you know, we have all that equipment in my house, and we do we do workout groups with with me and my kids. She you know? does. That's one thing yeah. uh, also about Judy or you know, her family, and and also. Uh, I, I wanted to know who was uh, responsible for preparing her for her shows, and uh, it was just Glenn a shout Hubner. out to you, Glenn. Yeah, Glenn uh, Hubner. Yeah, Glenn Hubner. Hubner. What's up, Glenn? How you doing, man? How you doing out there? Yes, I am flirting, but you know, that's just what I do. At the end of the day, I am bricks. All right, don't worry about it. She still loves you. My fans still love you. They love me. They love Rob Fletcher. Okay, now you know what. Normally, during these type of interviews, I like to, you know, focus on the people in the studio. But with your program, mm -hmm. America's Next Great Trainer, 
and what it entails. I'm glad that you have Judy here right. because of the fact that we need to reach the next generation. We need to reach the upcoming generation, which is the no kids. Doubt, and when you was mentioning about bullying, cyber bullying, you mentioned about you know um, how the way they view themselves is a direct reflection of the way they act out. And we do know that with all the hormones and foods nowadays, the excess sugar, um, when when Judy mentioned about the kids, uh, all of a sudden there's more uh, HDHD levels and, 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 and all this stuff. Yeah. Right? I'm glad she's here because to hear it from a mother, no doubt. You know, hear yeah. from a mother about, listen, this is what I'm doing with my kids. Right. You know, I want my kids to be better and to be healthy. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm so glad she's here. But now, Rob, how can somebody get in touch with you or find out more about your program and, and, and everything that you're trying to institute? They can go to uh, the website, www.angt.tv. And uh, one of the cool things we're doing, Andre, with the website, we're going under a uh, redevelopment right now, but we're creating... Uh, what's called the ANGT TV channel. Okay. So with that, you're going to go to that uh, portion of the site. You're going to have all sorts of different things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, meal planning 101. I like with that. Diane Hotch. Um, you know, you'll have uh, different things, work, different types of workouts. You know, if you're just thinking about workout, what to do, basic beginner type workouts. Mm -hmm. Like you said, if you're at home, take the first step during a commercial, do 10 push-ups. Absolutely. And that's just creating a mindset. Right. It's, it's more psychological. You know, you do the 10, next thing you know, it's 12, mm -hmm. 15, you know, small steps. But uh, if they go to the website, ANGT.TV, um, and then uh, definitely encourage trainers. I definitely love hearing the stories that empower people because those uh, people have to be highlighted. And then you want to know what they're doing. You know, I hear stories of trainers that uh, their clients have lost 100 pounds. Talk right. about a life change. Right, and right. That's what I'm saying. When you say, uh, when Brian and I were speaking about America's Next Great Trainer, you know, I don't think you really uh, have uh, their... There could be America's next great trainer, but to me, I, I want to focus more on the great trainers that are really, how are they doing what they're doing? How right. do they get this person to sitting on the couch, like we were saying before, mm -hmm. to all of a sudden pick up the phone, they dropped 100 pounds, they no longer, uh, you know, the blood pressure went down, they're no longer stressed out, they look completely different, they have a happy life, right. and it was a result of being exposed to a trainer. So, you know, I think more people have to reach out to those trainers that are knowledgeable and sometimes uh, you know well most of the times it's an additional expense but you know what you got to take care of you they put pe people put themselves sometimes second to their families and when you do that as much as you think you're doing them good you're not you're really not because no. once you get sick uh, all the money in the world means absolutely nothing I've had countless people who's been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and they've come back and they said you know what bricks man I would give it all up just to have my health back health and I keep telling them, well, listen, it's not that you can't have your health back. Right now, it's just about making these choices that, unfortunately, at this moment, you're forced to make nowadays. You know, and what I want to do is I want to see you get off of the insulin. What I want to do is I want to see you establish a healthy meal plan. You know, what else I want to see you doing is drink water. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stress this enough. Andre, I'm going to interrupt. Go, please Get do. up, wake up, America, <laughs> drink the darn water. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm so tired of people telling me, well, water doesn't taste like anything. Um, I'm not thirsty. Listen, if you're waiting for thirst to be an indicator of when to drink, you're already dehydrated. Your body mm -hmm. no is question. comprised of more than 70% water. Do not believe what you're reading in the books. Your body is comprised of more than 70% water between the muscles, the organs, your your hair follicles, everything. It's more than 70% water. Why then would you deplete yourself of water? And the best way to equate it is when you have money and a lot of money coming in, you're going to spend it. When you have a little bit of money, you're going to hold on to it. That's what your body does with water. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get rid of the bloat, especially ladies, and then it's that time of the month, drink the water. It's going to flush it out of it's, your system. They, get, they don't get it. Though. They, that's Not the, the that's chocolate. It's the water. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Well, listen, you know, I got five sisters, so I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know the importance of the chocolate. You know, you know, help, help, help. Ease yep. away the cramps. But okay, Rob. Somebody reaches out and they go on the website. Okay, they make that first step. So they get up. Now they wake up and they feel better. They get better. Is there any way that they can submit like? Um, 
testimonials or sending a video or anything well, that's like what that. we want right Andre we want if you're a trainer out there with an empowering story like I said what we're working on right now is those stories because Absolutely. we want people to see those stories like you said you hit a very important nerve with uh, the insulin and the diabetes mm -hmm. and all these people can heal yes they can get better and healthier you know but they get so caught up with thinking I can't mm -hmm. but you have that mentality guess absolutely. what you're absolutely right. right you can't and you never will you gotta you gotta believe that you can change your life mm -hmm. and get that mindset take those steps but they can submit you know they could submit a video to me to go to the website or submit something to me personally uh, Rob Fletcher at ANGT.TV or go right to the website okay. and we want those stories because in the end really we want the most empowering stories absolutely we want those stories absolutely. And, and the ideal situation is we really are looking for families right we want that family out there that's basically they're caught up they feel like they, they they're it's out of control mm -hmm. they don't know what to do they right. don't know where to go so if you're a family out there listening you know I def I answer all my emails so if it's a parent and if you have a concern and, and what direction to go especially you know if they have kids because like you said before that's our future that's it you know we have we're responsible absolutely you know, so we have to step up and I'm, I'm talking to the parents I'm talking to you know we have to lead by example right. you know we have a lot of fun we I love being with you guys you guys are awesome <laughs> Jeff, we know the seriousness of the problem absolutely you know absolutely. so uh, I encourage those stories too because right. I want I do want kids you know there's nothing better uh, there's no more satisfaction mm -hmm. than seeing or being a part of someone changing their life and then coming back to you and saying thank you because the thank you you don't know what that thank you really mean you, it could be thank you you saved my life that's right you know these that's stories right. are out there mm -hmm. Andre, and you know it I know it and with these people that are sitting down listening I know I have to I know I have to you have the ability to change your life you just have to take step one that's why right. you know when we say we have a lot of fun with it but the bottom line is it's true it's get up but you know people are not getting up so they gotta wake up they gotta wake they up gotta wake absolutely up. Um, Judy what has been the most rewarding experience since taking this journey and, and learning about you know eating healthy and cooking with the kids and so on and so forth honestly it's really just well it has a lot it, it's being able to get up in the morning and mm -hmm. not feeling those aches and pains unless it's just like lifting heavy weight right. <laughs> you know it, and it's crazy the people are like how do you like that pain I'm like you'll you'll like it because you know how much you put into it right and you know the results you're gonna get so right. it's it's I, I love it I don't know all right. Normally, I would not ask this question to a female. However, I'm sure you can take it. I take it. Go ahead. When you initially started this, um, were you <coughs> were you considered overweight or? I was 150 pounds. And how tall are you? I am five five. Okay, five five at yes. 150. So at 150. Right. Yes. And you are now. And I couldn't, as my brother says, I couldn't use uh, the skinny fat anymore because <laughs> I look skinny because I, I know how to hide myself right, <laughs> pretty right. well, but. Now he used to get me pretty good, but um, I'm one. I'm one twenty nine now. Nice. I'm off season, so you're off season. <laughs> you know, there's no such thing as off season. Yeah, right? really, there really isn't. All it right, really all isn't. Right, all right. Yeah, you got, it's like those Under Armour commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta protect this house. You gotta protect the house. No off season. That's right. There's no off season. Absolutely. Okay, Rob, once again, how can somebody get in touch with you or find out more about your program? Uh, the website, www.angt.tv. Uh, and again, you know, if you're a uh, listener thinking about uh, getting involved in some sort of fitness type program, I welcome your emails and messages. Uh, you can also Facebook the group. We have a youth program as well, ANGT Youth Fitness and Empowerment Program. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, to the school teachers, one of the things we're doing is going to the school system. So it could be in regard to anything you know if you're interested in, in a pr the presentations Andre too are free for the yeah. schools nice that's how important nice. we think it is to you know and the trainers go to the school they do a 60 minute presentation which is fun but also mm -hmm. educates them about the issues that we spoke about health fitness peer pressure and bullying well you know what I mean earlier we kind of said it almost as a joke but I think it's very important that people please listen to FTNS it doesn't necessarily have to be the body shop although I do recommend that you do listen to the body shop but we have countless shows that can help a lot they of do. people out there no, don't we doubt. have Jerry Zatkoff she is amazing uh, Dr. Cindy we have fit you we have body rock 
all of these shows can cater to whatever it is that you're looking for. Whether step one, Andre, what you're doing right now. Step one, yeah. absolutely. Listen. It's it's partnering with other people. You know, it's not always about you know listening to a fitness show. Sometimes we have a holistic show which can help you on your homeopathic remedies and you know get you off of the medicine, get you off of the meds. So listen to ftns.co, call in, send me an email, bricks at ftns. You know, I'll answer back. Rob, anything that myself, the station, or even Brian with fitnessatlantic.com can do to help further your goals. Don't hesitate to ask. And I would love to have you back on the show. Andre, you guys are awesome. All right, man. cool. Ms. Judy, always a pleasure. Thanks. Always a pleasure. Can we have you back on as well, too? Of course, of course. All right. Um, if somebody wants to reach out to you, how is that possible? You can contact me. Hold, hold on, sweetie. They cannot hear you. You got to press that button for me. <laughs> there we go. All right. You can fa uh, Facebook me at Judy Espinal. That's pretty much Okay, just spell your last name because a lot uh, of people yeah. are not e of Dominican descent. <laughs> e S P I N A L. And oh. I, if you need a fitness buddy, I'm right there with you, girl. Okay. And Judy will have her own A N G T yeah. TV channel. There you go. Look yeah. at that. Exclusive. <laughs> Exclusive be a drop right here on the body shop. <laughs> now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, please, please, we cannot stress the importance and the seriousness of being healthy, getting in shape. Just going out there, wake up, get up, do what do what you need to do, all right? And in closing, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to leave you with these words. All of your goals are easily attainable if you train and work hard. There's no excuse that's good enough if you're just being plain lazy. Keep God first and everything else will fall into place. Amen. This is Bricks. Oh, I'm signing off. Fuel right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm signing off for everybody else. Listen, man, we got to go, but I'll see you when I see you.